The Fed is going to provide support until it can't anymore. The Fed will print and the government will spend in ways none of us can comprehend. Take whatever number you can fathom and double it. I see a QE of $4 trillion in 2022 alone. When the impotence of the politicians is revealed the panic will be 10 times worse than March 2020. The Fed has two choices, keep inflating the bubble or burst it. There's no third option. There is no soft landing. Rates were kept too low for too long. Eventually inflation will force the Fed's hand but that could take years. The Fed will go negative, further delaying the coming economic doom. Capitalism works cyclically by design. Those who have the majority of the wealth need to constantly destroy the existing capital. When the economy prospers, at some point additional productivity and wealth creation no longer benefits them. In fact it hurts them by enriching competition and allowing workers economic freedom. Therefore, they deliberately crash the economy and seek new untouched emerging markets to invest their wealth and capital while everyone else is struggling, surviving. The bursting is guaranteed and cyclical. Right now, they have crushed small business and middle class who were getting a little too comfortable, and are seeking to profit from the new markets of biosecurity, medicine, and the counter-terrorism market by treating the right wing like they treated terrorists. For those that can't detect sarcasm, I am not actually sharing investment advice in this video. Rather, I am pointing out how absurd our financial markets have become at this point. While the real economy is mired in the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression of the 1930s, the stock market just keeps soaring to record high after record high. If the underlying profits that these corporations were generating actually justified the extremely high stock prices that we have been witnessing, then I wouldn't have anything to complain about. Sadly, the truth is that many of the companies that are seeing their stocks soar into the stratosphere are not making any money at all. I know that this may sound bizarre to many of you that do not follow the markets on a regular basis, but this is what is actually happening. In fact, Goldman Sachs actually has something called a non-profitable technology index, and it has been rising at an exponential rate during this pandemic. Of course in order to be a part of the non-profitable technology index, you have got to be losing money. So as you can see, if you want to make big money in the stock market just buy tech companies that are losing boatloads of money and wait for the profits to rain from the sky. At this point, the stock market has become such a rigged game that literally anyone can succeed. Just ask this guy. I see a stock going up and I buy it. Wow. That is brilliant. And that will work as long as stocks only keep going one way. When the pandemic started hitting the US really hard, the powers that be decided that they were going to do whatever it took to support the stock market. The Federal Reserve literally poured trillions of dollars into the financial system, and as a result the ratio of the Fed's balance sheet to US GDP is at an all-time record high. Our politicians in Washington kept passing stimulus package after stimulus package, and as a result the ratio of the US budget deficit to US GDP is at an all-time record high. We are literally destroying our currency and we have placed ourselves on the hyperinflation highway, but very few of our leaders in Washington seem too concerned about what is happening. So the stock market bubble will continue to expand and people will continue to mindlessly make money until one day a big enough trigger event comes along to burst the bubble once and for all. And without a doubt, what we are in right now is an epic bubble. According to CNBC, the trailing price to earnings ratio of the median stock has never been higher. Right now, it's hard to deny that on the whole, stocks are rich relative to past earnings and forecast earnings. The trailing price earnings ratio of the median US stock, tracked by Ned Davis Research, has never been higher. Meanwhile, the real economy continues to deteriorate all around us. Earlier today, we learned that chocolate giant Godiva will be closing every single one of their stores in North America. It was sweet while it lasted. Belgian chocolatier Godiva will sell or close all 128 of its North American shops within the next few months, the company said this week. Out on the West Coast, many small businesses have decided to go underground in a desperate attempt to survive. Los Angeles City attorney Mike Feuer has charged dozens of businesses with violations, including car washes, tobacco shops, beauty supply stores, massage parlors, nail salons, pet groomers, and an Egyptian artifact store. The owners of one Bay Area massage business made the decision to reopen underground after 93 days on no income, 
telling Cal Matters that it came down to either paying the fine or we can't pay our mortgage. But why should anyone even try to run a small business at this point? After all, can't we all make enormous profits just by buying the stocks of tech companies that are losing millions of dollars every year? Not even during the dot-com boom did we ever witness euphoria like this. The more absurd the business model, the more investors seem to like it. And investors really seem to like it when a company is endlessly hemorrhaging money with seemingly no hope of ever becoming profitable. For now, investing like an idiot works because everyone is winning. Of course someday the party will come to a very abrupt end. But for now the madness continues, and most investors definitely do not want to be awakened from their stupor. At the same time, the World Economic Forum is preparing the rest of us for a dismal economic future in which we eat worms, live in tiny houses, and are forced to carefully follow the new green rules for a sustainable environment. The standard of living is going down for most of us, but thanks to rising stock prices the rich are now richer than ever. This rapidly expanding gap between the wealthy and the poor is creating an enormous amount of tension in our society, and it is just a matter of time before all of that tension explodes in frightening and unpredictable ways. When you stripe away the BS that people invent to justify the prices they are paying. This is the most expensive equities have ever been. The price to sales ratios on tech stocks look more like PEs. It's madness and one day it will end because massively overpaying for assets might seem cool, but it isn't. All you are doing is massively increasing your risk of losses. Tesla will be the prime example of this. When it enter the S&P 500 and crashes. You will look back at the stupid fantasy reasons why you should buy Tesla and laugh that people ever fell for it. Tesla is tulips, radio stocks, and dot-com stocks all rolled into one. With humongous amounts of debt no one even talks about being able to pay it off anymore. Politicians know they can't afford to make a serious effort in paying off when their job now appears to be giving away trillions of dollars to their cronies to get re-elected. It's a disaster in the making and will cause a huge calamity around the world when it eventually collapses? With such large sums of money they can't even raise interest rates or it will cause the whole thing to collapse. The rate of artificial stimulus is being doled out a trillions of dollar at a time and no slowdown in sight. Markets going to go up to 63,000 next year. Unemployment will rise to 90%, as 10% of the population captures 99.999% of all wealth. Fed will keep printing up money for itself, to keep the military-industrial complex going, totally disconnected from stock market. The upper portion of the K in the K-shaped recovery will slide higher and higher up the vertical axis as less and less people experience recovery. 2022, market will reach 120,000. Cashless and asset-less society for 95% of society coming. At a certain level the incurred debt has to have an impact on people's required risk to lend interest rates. It's not long off when the rising rates feed back to the cash flow needed to service the debt. The markets are going to implode hard as people begin to realize all Western nations have borrowed against future cash flows to the point where they're not going to be able to fund the promises made. It's not just the US, it's most countries. Own some fertile land far 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 away from big liberal cities. This was the Nomad Economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. And thanks for your valuable feedback. Stay safe and healthy friends.